Let me ask you a question. So if you're a trader, have you ever just looked at a moving average and said, you know what, I think I'm going to buy a stock here if it goes above that moving average or short a stock if it goes below there? Well, I'm going to tell you, for the most part, I think that's, that's oversimplification of how the market works. However, sometimes if it's a large enough stock or maybe an index, sometimes you can actually get some good reference points. And shares of Apple actually right now after earnings here on the 30th of January are coming into an area where that may actually make sense. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like on the chart. We'll keep this nice and uh, simple. So um, first of all, in terms of the market rover, just note that Apple is, even though it's short term bullish, which it flipped to short term bullish about a couple weeks ago, I think, it still is medium and long term bearish. Okay, just keep that in mind on the market rover platform. It still is labeled short term bullish, yes, but medium and long term bearish. Now, if you look at Apple here, and I made a very, very simple chart, just overlaying basically my intermediate term moving averages. And once I get my tripod right, you'll see this um, a little bit better. So the moving average we want to look at here is the yellow line. You can see the yellow line right here, right? Now, what we're looking at here is you can see when uh, Apple bounced into that area in the summer of 2000 and um, I guess 17, is that what it was? It found support, then it found support again, and then, or 2018, sorry, and then when it broke below there, uh, it found resistance at that yellow line again. That's the yellow line you want to look at. Well, the question now is whether this area that we're coming into right now, which is also going to be the 50-day moving average, will act as resistance. In fact, if you look at Apple pre-market, and this is this is very immediate term. So if you're not watching this, like as this video came out, this is maybe totally irrelevant in terms of where the stock is. But right now, if you look at this chart here, you can see that Apple is trading around 163, 164 after market, uh, the stock trade or report earnings in January 29th, 2019, which is what it is right now. Um, and today is the 30th in the morning before the market opened. And you can see the stocks trading here, which is right about at this 50 day moving average. So the question now is, will the stock reject here or what's it going to do? Um, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while, you know that I'm not a big fan of putting on trades. Uh, until we have confirmation, whether that's confirmation of a, uh, of, a, of a breakout or a breakout, whatever the thing is. Same thing here. I don't really want to, just because the stock's coming to that 50-day, I'm not going to go ahead and start shorting the stock or selling it or buying puts or whatever you want to do. You need to wait for confirmation. So you need to wait until like the day on January 30th is pretty much done trading from a swing trading perspective. And then only then, and maybe even beyond that, you have to wait a little bit more uh, to see confirmation selling. So the main takeaway of this video, I want to keep this very simple, but it's a really important message. I see so many people talk about this. Uh, moving averages are, are nice for reference points, but they're not good things to use just to make a random buy and sell decision based on just a moving average, on, a on average, right? No pun intended. Uh, it just doesn't work over time. But in this case, I actually think it's a really interesting spot to watch the stock. And then what you can do is you can set some alerts. So let, let me show you how, how I do this. So the stock is now coming into this. Interesting. I just deleted the 50-day moving average. I didn't even know that's possible. <laughs> let me load that again. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, it's gone. Um, anyway, the 50-day moving average, as you can imagine, was right around where I just mentioned uh, uh, it, it, would, it would be. And... Um, where the stock would come in right now. In fact, well, there it is again, okay? And so again, you wanna wait for, for the stock to kind of found, find resistance there. If it pushes right above there, then obviously that wasn't a trade to be done on the short side, but it's an, nonetheless, it's an interesting area to watch the stock. If you, if you think about it, the stock last was at the 50 day moving average in early November, 2018, and now uh, three months later, it's coming back into this area uh, and maybe it's gonna be as resistance. So. Uh, anyway, folks, very uh, simple and sweet. And again, just keep in mind the market rover still has Apple. Yes, short term bullish, but medium and long term still bearish. So uh, that's another thing to take into consideration here uh, when it comes to putting on uh, a trade like this around the 50. I hope it makes sense, folks. I'll talk to you soon.